I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your daily forecast for the day of Thursday, December 21st, 2017. Now, what is going on today is that we've got the moon here hanging out right here in Aquarius where it entered last night, okay? And what that brings our attention to uh, is really to the big picture uh, in a lot of ways, is really to thinking about our future uh, and our life in some way, and of course, kind of lightening up, loosening our grip a little bit, being out and socializing as well comes in uh, with Aquarius, and just trying to look at your life a little bit more objectively uh, in some way, okay? I think Aquarius a lot of times asks us, especially with the south node here uh, in this sign, asks us to take a little bit of a backseat to our life to again look around, think about it in a bunch of different ways, and just try to envision where our life is going in a way that's not as intense, <laughs> um, okay? And so I think that's what we're coming into um, today, trying to figure all that stuff out, especially after so much has changed in our life recently with Saturn switching signs. I think it provides us with a good opportunity to take a look, take a, take stock of our life, of everything uh, that's happened, and try to figure out where are we now and where do we want to go and kind of how we can bring it all together, okay? So that's what is going on with the moon in Aquarius. That could bring up some difficulty very early in the morning, okay? Because at 10 a.m. Utah time, the moon, after it's been in Aquarius for a little bit, is going to square Mars here in Scorpio. So what I think that means is that we want to, or need to at least, take a step back to think objectively about our life, but Mars here and Scorpio wanting to continue to engage, <laughs> wanting to continue to do things and to make changes and to be very intense about things and to get things done, okay? And I think we, at the, we, we don't wanna get things done. I think we wanna get things done, I think we need to get things done, but I think at the same time, needing to take a step back to make sure that whatever it is we do, whatever action we put in place, whatever changes we make are in accordance with some big future goal, dream of ours uh, that we see for ourselves coming in, okay? And I think that's where the challenge could be early in the morning, is having a lot of intense feelings, wanting to make some big changes, maybe in life, maybe feeling, you know, like there's a lot going on that you want to continue to engage with here and needing to take a step back here before you act, before you do anything to make sure that your actions are in, are in accordance and in alignment with where it is that you see your life going, okay? Um, and there could be some frustration around that time because, you know, we're trying to figure out here how to do things in life that you want to do um, while at the same time take a step back to look around, okay? And I think that's what we're gonna deal with for most of the day, is really just trying to figure out here, okay, I, I really wanna do things, I really wanna make things happen, like things are starting to change, what can I do here, but at the same time needing to needing to be patient, needing to take your time, needing to not put too much pressure on yourself, and needing to get a lot of different perspectives here before it is that you start to move forward, okay? So that's what's going on there. Um, that's gonna hang out until 10 o'clock at night. The moon's gonna make this aspect at 10 a.m. in the morning, Utah time, and then it's not gonna do anything until 10 o'clock at night. And at 10 o'clock at night, what it's going to do is the moon's gonna get very close to the south node here, um, and it's going to sextile um, Mercury and square Jupiter, <laughs> right around the same time. Um, and I think after all day, after you really wanna do things, I think this could be a little frustrating, really wanting to do things, but needing to take a step back and envision your life before you make any more plans, before you make any changes. I think there could be lots of communication here that comes in at the nighttime after kind of sitting with all of this about your life, about what you see, about where you want your life to go, um, and trying to make sense of your life in the right ways, and trying to figure everything out. Okay, that especially is with the moon here making the sextile to Mercury. So especially at nighttime, 10 o'clock Utah time, there could be lots of communication coming in and there could be lots of thought happening about where you see your life going, about the future, about what it is that you want, okay? And with Mercury here also very close to, well, I guess I guess not necessarily very close to, but with Mercury kind of hanging around this spot here and trying to the North Node, I think you're trying to figure out how you can take some of these things that you see for your life 
um, that you want to take some of your big goals and maybe actually start to take big steps towards them and start to feel happier with them and start to feel more comfortable with them. And I think you're trying to figure all of that out. All right, with the moon on the south node though, it's not like a great time to take steps to do them today though. <laughs> um, because when the moon's on the south node, we tend to have a little bit of a stuck feeling. We tend to feel a little bit held back and the things that we always do don't always stick uh, as well for that reason. And so I think this is kind of like an interesting alignment where we have a bunch of planets that are gonna move right here into Capricorn, a good sign. Saturn's at home, really helping you to do things and to make things happen and to start to build on things. We just came off of a new moon too, wanting to act, wanting to initiate, at least, if not act, really starting to think about and plan how you can act here. But then the moon kind of in this, on the south node and this weird spot that's saying, okay, I know you wanna do things, I know you wanna go forward and like make things happen, especially with the square to Mars coming in here, but really needing to make sure that now that anything that you do aligns with your highest purpose, aligns with where you see your life going and is getting you somewhere in some way and really needing to take this time here to check in with some vision you have for your life, to check in with some of your dreams, to check in with who you really are uh, and what's really, really important to you before you start to move forward again. Okay, and I think this could be a little hard for us because we don't wanna check in with ourselves. We don't wanna take a step back. We want to move. We want to make things happen. We want to get things done here, but really needing today to take the time out to think about the big picture so that as you begin to move forward here very soon, well, at least once it leaves <laughs> Aquarius, that you're doing everything right and that you're doing everything better and that everything can come together and make sense and not be so crazy. Um, and I think the moon here on the south node is saying, take that time, take that time to think more objectively about your life even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's not what you want to do <laughs> right now, so that you can make sure that you're thinking about things in the right way and that you're doing what it is that you need to do to put your life in a better spot at another time, okay? And really needing to just check in with yourself and what you're thinking before doing all that, all right? <laughs> so I think that's what's going on. The moon as well with the square to Jupiter at night could also be a little frustrating. So while you're starting to think about your life, maybe get some clarity on it, maybe understand it better, understand some new commitment or something that it is that you're doing, again, still feeling frustrated here that there are some changes you wanna make in life. There are some deep feelings that it is that you have that you wanna uncover and understand um, and get rid of perhaps so that they aren't hurting you so much. But again, the big message of today, really needing to take the time out and take the space from pushing forward, from making things happen so that you can check in with yourself and make sure that you're thinking about things in the right way before moving forward once again, before making even more changes once again, all right? Because the changes that we're gonna make in life now and the things we're gonna readjust in our life are not the same things that we were gonna readjust before. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of what was going on you know, in the past, the way that we were changing our life or doing something, um, when we were, when it came to deciding what new thing we were going to do or committing to something, there were a lot of details that we were working out in regards to that. And now that our life is changing, we have to, again, and I think I've said this before, we have to think differently about our life. We have to change as well to accommodate these changes in our life. And I think that if you don't take the time out today and keep pushing forward, there could be some things that you miss. There could be some things that you need to do that you aren't doing because you're living by a set of rules and you're living by a set of standards that no longer apply now that Saturn has changed signs. Maybe there were rules and, and things that you thought were always true for your life that were for the past three years when Saturn was in Sagittarius, but that no longer are. And I think you need to take the time here to adjust to these changes, to understand these changes, and to get on board with them before doing some things in your life by a set of rules that no longer work and creating even more problems for yourself and really needing to get used to with everything that's going on and with where your life is heading and to let it all sink in here before doing more. 
All right, so that's the message that I am gonna leave you with today. Um, other stuff going on in the background, although I already did kind of cover a little bit of it and all of that uh, that was going on, but we do have the sun here moving into Capricorn, which makes it the winter solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere when the sun is at zero degree Capricorn. Um, so, and it's gonna conjunct Saturn too at the solstice. Uh, so bringing up again, a lot of thinking when it comes to Capricorn, at least uh, wanting to move forward, wanting to get things done, wanting to build on your life, wanting to increase your reputation, your social standing, especially with Saturn there, wanting to do it in a really big way, wanting to dedicate your life and commit to moving up in the world, doing something that is better for you, uh, creating the life that it is that you really want, moving your life in the right direction. I think there's lots of serious thought and lots of commitment and dedication here to doing the right thing, <laughs> uh, to putting your life in the right place uh, coming in that's going to be really important and that's going to be really big and needing to commit to moving your life in the right direction, needing to commit to building on your life in a very dedicated and very disciplined way. But maybe today with the moon south node stuff, needing to take a break for today to understand better what you want to build before you start to actually take big steps forward on that. All right. Um, so that's what is going on there. Jupiter also in an exact square with the nodes, which the moon is also going to trigger today, um, meaning that there are some changes you need to make in life. There are some deep feelings that it is that you need to unearth, that you need to understand, uh, that you need to make sense of about your life. I mean, maybe as life is changing now, right, we need to tend to ourself emotionally and we need to tend to ourself and figure out what's going on. Okay, with the moon on the south node in a square, of course, with Jupiter squaring the nodes here, needing to figure out how to take these big intense feelings that you have below the surface here and how to readjust them to new perspectives, to new chapters in life, um, so that these feelings can work for you to help you move your life in the right direction and achieve the things that you want to achieve instead of against you. Um, that's happening there, okay? Um, other things going on that are not as exact is that we still do have Venus. Let me erase this for you really quick. Here, let me... Oh, what is going on? iPad's not as responsive today to my pen. Probably need to restart it or something. Um, but what we've got going on in the background, other things that aren't as exact that are still happening though, is Venus right here at 25 degrees. It's gonna be at 26 by the end of the day in a square with Chiron and in a trine with Uranus. Again, still bringing up some uncomfortable things in regards to relationships and money trying to do some new thing here in life, but maybe feeling uncomfortable trying to afford some new thing or trying to adjust your perspective. Um, maybe feeling uncomfortable spending the money to put your life in the place that you want or working with relationships as well. Um, but again, really needing to assert yourself with relationships and adjust your finances so that they can support you and some things that are really important to you coming in today that we're starting to come off of. Um, also, Mercury here backing up into a square with Neptune, bringing up some confusion too about your life and about where it's going, but needing to be intuitive, needing to have faith with Neptune, needing to be patient and compassionate and wait here for more of the insights to come to you for everything to start to fall into place before it is that you can move forward. All right, so that's what I think is going on today. Lots of um, lots of thinking about your life, envisioning the future here, and needing to take the time, okay, to take a step back, to look at your life in different ways, and to adjust your perspective, to adjust your emotions, to get on board with the way that life is changing, and to not push too hard prematurely here before it's fully registered in what way life is going. All right. Um, and I think if you can take the step back here, really saving yourself a lot of frustration from trying to push too hard to get things done here and not having them fall into place in the way that you would like, all right? Now your card for the day is the five. Um, it's the five of wands reversed. So 
I'm gonna start with it upright. Sometimes it helps me get going on the meanings of the cards. The Five of Wands upright uh, is a card, as you can see, a lot of kids here fighting uh, with their, their wands. <laughs> I think there could be a lot of, well, that's what happens when it's upright. There's lots of passion, lots of competition, lots of fighting, but when the card is upright, I think you don't wanna fight anymore. <laughs> it's time to not fight, not fight yourself, not fight other people. Like if things aren't getting done today, especially with the South Node, like don't do them, don't do them. <laughs> you know, if things aren't working today, don't try to force them to work. If people aren't helping you today, then don't get mad at people for not helping you. <laughs> you know, take a step back today to not fight, to, uh, to relax for a second and to see things in, in different ways, okay? This card too can also indicate you separating yourself from the pack which is kind of interesting going on because kind of Aquarius rules the pack, Aquarius rules the group. So I don't know why I'm getting that with this card, but um, a lot of it too could be maybe taking a time out from the group, from what everyone's saying to you so that you can get in touch with what you want so that you can live life this is the Aquarius, according to your own set of rules coming in. Maybe that's what it is here. Maybe there's too much going on with other people, too much, you know, especially with the square to Venus, too concerned about other people and other people's opinions and, and with things going on here and needing to really listen to your own heart, listen to what it is that you want, what you feel is important to you, makes you unique so that you can express yourself more authentically. And I think if you cannot fight and if you cannot try to make everyone see everything in your, your way, <laughs> um, and if you can really take a step back and get in touch with yourself here to figure out what it is that you want and to allow that to emerge without being in competition with other people and without being upset, about whether or not other people agree with you, I think it's going to make it a lot easier for you today to feel much comfortable to get things done and to check in with yourself in a really big way so that you can move forward later on to start to bring everything together, do some things you need to do, and start to build on something going on after we've had like a lot of crazy <laughs> changes and big commitments happen in our lives lately, okay? So that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.